pretty healthy obsession with oysters for as long as I can remember. I love everything about them, especially the ritual of eating them. But the brand new Oyster Bar takes this tradition even one step further. Not only do they have some of the most fresh oysters in town, but they actually pride themselves on oyster education. All Let Us Entertain You restaurants are known for their exceptional service and hospitality. Oyster Ba is no exception. And thanks to the leadership of GM Rose Waldmeyer, the staff can provide a world-class oyster experience. Okay, Rose, I've been a lifelong fan of All Let Us Entertain You restaurants for as long as I can remember. Love it. And the hospitality just can't be touched. So what makes Oyster Ba like fulfill Fill that legacy of amazing lettuce <laughs> hospitality. What we did is take really um, a lot of care when we did our hiring. So yeah. we were fortunate to have a lot of wonderful candidates apply. Um, and we were really picky. We had several managers interviewing candidates and what we were really looking for was employees that had an embodiment of hospitality. We call it in the company the 51%, mm -hmm. something that can't be taught, and we feel confident in our abilities to be able to teach the 49% some more technical skills. People that had a genuine sense of care, and care not only for the guests, but also for education for themselves, and being able to teach our guests as well. I love it, and it really shows. Now, what sets Oyster Bar apart from a lot of the other, you know, oyster-focused restaurants Absolutely. in the city. What we did is we made a really casual, comfortable environment. Being in a neighborhood location here in Lincoln Park, okay. there's a lot of local families coming in. We wanted to make it really unintimidating for those folks. Price point is not super expensive for people. They can come in, they can come in on a Wednesday night after work have a dozen oysters and a cheeseburger. Um, or if it is a special occasion, absolutely, we accommodate birthday parties. We've got an amazing coconut cake for people. So again, the environment is unintimidating. The service is pristine, but again, relaxed and inviting at the same time. So I'm really excited to experience some people later on having their very first oyster. It is exciting, we get really into it. <laughs> I know, but let's say we do a little. Let's try little, them. Little oyster cheers. You know what, I'm gonna have to try one of them. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Chef Pete is their very own oyster guru. Not only does he know all about how to select and prepare the best of the best, but he's also created some of the other incredible dishes Oyster Ba has to offer. Cannot wait to see what he's gonna teach me. All right, Chef, I need to hear a little bit about your oyster background. Oh, I have extensive knowledge and experience in seafood restaurants through my whole career, uh, most recently at Shaw's Crab House, and we're able to take what we learn there and cultivate with the relationships and instill it at Oyster Bar. I love it. So tell me about your oyster selection process, because you guys do a lot with your oyster selection. You know, it really, it, it's all with the relationships that we built. We, we, we call the growers and ask them what's great, and the, we have 30 years of relationships with them, and if it's not up to our standards, they let us know, listen, wait a week, wait a two week, the weather's not right, or, you know. So we get, we get the best. Now I hear you guys actually fly your oysters in. We do. That sounds kind of like a big deal, so why is that so important? You know, once you, whenever you're talking seafood, time is everything. The right. time start, clock starts ticking a minute, it's out of water. Unfortunately, oysters can live two, three, four weeks dormant out of water where we want the oyster on the plate within 24 hours of being harvested so that's why we fly them in direct so we go direct from the source we're not dealing with a middleman or anything like that okay so that covers some oysters however the rest of your menu has gotten such incredible rave reviews oh, thank you. tell me about some of these signature dishes that you have here because the smell is pretty intoxicating well, it's kind of not fair well we're um, fortunate to have a fantastic team Mm -hmm. um, you know, that replicate this food on a daily basis. So these are four of my favorite dishes on the menu currently, starting with their tuna poke. Um, we're dealing with sushi gray tuna, exactly, very simply, you know, just lightly dressed with a little soy sauce, a little sesame, green onion, um, tortilla chips and lime. Again, let the seafood be the, sh uh, the star, just like yeah. our oysters. Right. We want to focus on the ingredients that we can get, not necessarily what we can do to them. Here is our New England stuffy. I love these. I've never had these in the Midwest. I've yeah. only had them on the East Coast. You can't Coast. find them in Chicago. Right. Uh, through extensive travels on the East Coast prior to opening this restaurant, I fell in love with them. Like we have to have them. Uh, so it's it's like eight to ten clams chopped up um, in in one serving. They're delicious. Great. This is our take on uh, buffalo calamari. Ooh. 
Ooh. So we, we oh, deal I see with fresh like calamari, sauce there. not frozen. So you mm -hmm. can tell definitely texturally how soft um, the calamari is. It's not That's chewy. rare too, to yeah. have it not frozen. Exactly. It looks incredible. This bad boy's been the staring at The star of the show. Yes. Tell me about him. This is our signature uh, fish selection. It's a half of a snapper. You know, the best way to cook a fish is on the bone. So sticking with, sticking with that technique, we take one filet off, uh, fry the fish whole, and then garnish it with a house-made Thai chili sauce. French fries, it's a five-day process, and that's it. It looks incredible. Smells even better, and I think we should dig in because it's getting colder. Absolutely. We don't want that to happen, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, everybody, I am really pumped. We are about to watch these two lovely ladies join the first Oyster Club. All right, here we are, ladies. It's your first time? Are you yeah, excited? Yeah, we're All excited. right, perfect. I'm so excited for you. It's going to be great. We have East Coast Oysters, the Raspberry Points, West Coast, the Cushy. Fantastic selection. These are going to be a little vegetable, nice cucumber or sea lettuce. These are going to give you a nice saltiness. So, try with cocktail sauce or lemon. It's up to you. Give it a try. I'll try West Coast first. Okay, I'll go East Coast. Great. Alrighty. You like it? It's great. You chew it, it adds a nice extra dimension. Luke! Oyster! Was it everything you thought it was going to be? It's pretty good. It is good. It's not on this film. I know. All my life. Me too. <laughs> well, I'm glad uh, Oyster Ba and E Travel Rock TV could be part of your first experience, ladies. And I thought I couldn't appreciate oysters any more than I already did. Well, I was wrong. Oyster Ba has taken my love and obsession for oysters to new heights. No other spot does it quite like this. From their food and wine, to their hospitality, to their first oyster club, this is the place to experience oysters to the very fullest. Cheers, everyone.